Welcome to Personal Development at Carson Newnham School. I'm Rachel Moore. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what this subject is and how we deliver it here. So personal development is also sometimes known as PSHE. We call it personal development at Carson Newnham because we think actually um, that is a better way to kind of describe everything we're, we're trying to help our young people to gather from this subject. We are trying to ensure that they are able to develop personally ready to leave our school and be valuable members of society. Um, as you can see, the PSHE Association uh, kind of says that personal development helps give our young people the knowledge and skills that they need to manage their lives now and in the future. This is really important to us and we have dedicated one hour a week to this. Every pupil does personal development with their form tutor on a Tuesday morning, lesson two. Um, form tutors deliver this because we think that they know our young people best and there are sometimes um, more difficult topics that come up and they're able to deal with these best knowing knowing each of the pupils in their form. As you can see, it's split into three main areas. You've got health and well-being, which covers all the different ways that people can keep uh, young people keep, keep themselves physically and mentally safe, um, including things like drugs and alcohol education. You've got relationships, which looks at healthy and unhealthy relationships are both intimate and not intimate. Uh, this would also cover the ways in which young people can keep themselves uh, safe physically and mentally in those relationships um, and lots of different types of relationships that young people will come um, in contact with over their life. And finally, living in the wider world, uh, which looks at careers, both um, kind of thinking about what uh, next steps would be when uh, pupils leave class and in school at 16. So what they might be doing at college or sixth form or some form of apprenticeship um, and also sit, uh, beyond that as well as well as citizenship, which includes politics and the rule of law and justice. Um, in particular, pupils will be learning about things like um, democracy and the different political parties in our country and why it's so important to vote. Um, mental health and wellbeing is really important to us here at Carlson Minimum School. We don't, want just, uh, we don't want to just tell pupils why it's important. We want to show them how to manage their own uh, mental health and well-being and so we've been trying to teach them lots of different strategies that they can use for this. Um, as part of this we've introduced Wellbeing Mondays which take place on a Monday afternoon in form time. Um, pupils complete lots of different activities that are linked to the five ways to well-being. Um, each week they will do a different activity that's linked to one of those five ways. So this might include mindful colouring, it might include meditation, um, sometimes it can include um, physical activities so for example yoga, uh, dancing, going for a walk. They also do uh, connection activities with other pupils. So there has been examples of um, pupils writing compliments to each other to give themselves something uh, positive to focus on. Uh, this has proved successful so far and it's something that we are hoping to, um, that we will be continuing with our young pupils in order to ensure that should they come across something that challenges their mental well-being, that they've got these strategies to help them cope. 